Good morning. It is Monday, January 19th, and Blue Monday at that as well. I'm Kate. That's Phoenix over there. Yeah, good morning. Today on Trending, some amazing guests you'll be introduced to, including a gentleman by the name of Dez. A program he has is called Dez Fights Cancer. Also, Chef Jen is here with Cancer Fighting mm -hmm. Foods. Exciting. Yummy, yummy. And uh, Simons Valley Ranch is hosting their first ever ice gala, so we'll be talking to them a little bit later in the show. We have a number of people who we are on set this morning, including, let's start with Dez, because I mentioned you a few moments ago, it's a program yeah. called Dez Fights Cancer. Correct. We found out a few moments ago, Kate, that he is a New England Patriots fan. I know. So Dez won't be here much longer than about two <laughs> He's minutes. He's going to be escorted out <laughs> pretty quickly. That's right. I'm a Seahawks <laughs> fan, so you and I have something to chat about. Yes, you will. <laughs> For sure. Uh, we're also talking to Chef Jen about cancer fighting foods today. So you have a whole array of things uh, to bring us. Good. <gasps> I did. There so we'll have a nice one. little chat about that. <laughs> Is there a chocolate bar involved? I thought about it, but it didn't make it on the way here. Yeah. Um, worm co <laughs> composting is what we'll also chat about as well, too. Chelsea is, um, how do you describe yourself? A, um, a professional gardener, yes? Sure, yeah. But yeah. you do it at home. I do it at home. I'm a worm enthusiast, let's say. <laughs> We're going to find out more about that. And also joining us on Skype this morning, it's an event that started this weekend at Simons Valley Ranch. And we brought on us uh, with a Skype video call. It is Chelsea Anderson, who is, uh, I'm sorry, not Chelsea. It's uh, Christy Simmons, who is the marketing manager at Simons Valley Ranch. In a few moments, we'll be chatting about this event that uh, it's the first ever ice gala in Calgary. Is that right? Well, I'm sure that there have been other gallons, but this is the first ice fest. Yeah, I went there this weekend with the family. Again, we'll talk about uh, that in just a few moments. But man, how about this weather, Kate? Mm -hmm. Thank you for bringing this incredible oh, weather to no us. It's spring-like. It was super easy. I just, you know, <laughs> rolled it out over the weekend. And it's going to be a gorgeous week as well. So let's get to a, a look at our weather. There's our live shot outside. A little bit of cloud this morning, but it'll roll out around lunchtime. We should see that sunshine by later this afternoon. And it's also going to be quite balmy out there. Uh, we're currently sitting at 4. We're aiming for 6 or 7 for this afternoon. We do have a little bit of that breeze this morning. That wind's going to help clear out that cloud, though. So uh, that wind should hopefully die down a little bit into this afternoon. Should be a really nice day. It is a little slushy on the roads, though. There's a look at Deerfoot Trail. Uh, nice and dry there, but some of those side roads still have a lot of that uh, slushy mess on them, especially if you're trying to walk on that ice. Uh, highway 2 near Red Deer. It looks like uh, Highway 2 is in pretty good condition from Calgary to Edmonton right now, and we're not expecting any precipitation along there, so it should be a good drive. There you go. That's a quick check on weather. Let's get to some of our trending topics this morning. Yeah, and there's a number of them. Of course, you mentioned the weather, and boy, mm -hmm. it's been incredible weather. I hope it doesn't affect the uh, Simons Valley Ranch Ice Festival too, too much, Chris, because it, uh, again, it was there. I saw them dripping a little bit, but still, it was a beautiful, beautiful day out there. Um, let's get right to about what a lot of ch folks are talking about here in Calgary is the number of layoffs that are happening. And there is one blogger who sort of jumped on board this because it started with Target. We all know that Target laid off and they're closing down all of these stores. But there's a blogger who jumped on and um, the blogger is moneyteacher.ca. And she decided to come up with an article that says, Goodbye Target Canada, a lesson in smart planning. And what she's saying is they didn't plan very well. Well, from all the stories we've heard, we kind of heard that over and over again. But I have to say kudos to Sears. Oh, and Sears. They decided to um, say They've been well, offering discounts to the employees, and I think they were offering them jobs as well, potentially. Yeah. Wow. And, you know, it's just a yeah. start, but it, it leads us to our trending poll question, and all of you can chime in on this one. Are you worried about losing your job in 2015? How's everybody feeling? Well, there's a little bit of a panic on right now, I think. Uh, we're kind of a little bit uncertain. We don't know how it's going to affect us quite yet. I uh, haven't really seen the, the scary wave to follow, if you will. Um, but Target, for example, I, I, that was over 15,000 jobs or something like that. 133 yeah. locations Canada-wide. Three of them right here in Calgary. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, that's a, that's a, that's a big hit uh, for them and for, for our economy as well. Des, are you finding that in your workplace? Are people talking that way? I am finding it actually. People are um, scared to invest their money, making sure that they have that side pot Missed of emergency it. cash in case they do get laid off. And uh, yeah, it's something that Calgarians, especially with low oil prices, are very scared about. And all the economic stuff that you hear about right now is mm -hmm. that Alberta is going to have a rough year. Yeah. 
sounds like it. Uh, Maybe we just need more composting at home. That's right. Maybe it's time for a little bit of creativity in the workplace, you know? <laughs> Make your own work. Yes, <laughs> start yes. It, start your own garden. There you go. And you can feed yourself yeah. a little less. If we yeah. have the perfect climate, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, and by the way, we're following along on this trending poll, so you can jump on our Twitter or Facebook accounts at Trending on Shaw. And Chrissy, I don't know what over there, but you guys are staying busy. I mean, it's 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 great to know that you've got a lot of people, but are you knowing a sl noticing any kind of slowdown in the last little bit? Well, markets are seasonal, and of course, the winter is not usually a time that people think to go to a farmer's market. Right. But we right. are year-round, and there's lots of good things that are available year-round. So we're hoping that uh, despite the price of oil, that people will still want to come by fresh and local and beautifully prepared. Yeah, it's beautiful. There. <laughs> Uh, some other things that uh, we're talking about this morning, of course, it was a big football day yesterday. Wasn't yes, it, it was. And we're going to talk a little bit uh, of NFL football here. And uh, you're a big Seattle Seahawks fan, so congratulations to them. They won 28 to 22 against the Green Bay Packers, and also New England will be heading to uh, the Super Bowl as well. Uh, they won against the Indiana, uh, the Colts yesterday, Colts. 45 yeah. to seven. That was so. not a game. Des, back me up on this. That was not a game. No, the Colts really did, just didn't come out and play. Yeah. So, kudos to New England yeah. for coming out and just taking it. Are we the only ones here, football fans, ladies? <laughs> I mean, seriously, is I, it just, I, it just I, Des and I just going to be football? I saw a lot of Facebook feedback yesterday on thoughts during the game and, and posts and, and tweets and things like yeah. that. So, so by accident, you become a football fan. <laughs> sort of. I, that's what happened to me yeah, yesterday. It's a good game. Now we have to talk about football food. Oh, uh, it's made for uh, cheesies and chips and Doritos and deep fried things. Uh, things we'll talk breaks. about that maybe closer to February 1st. That's when the big game is. Sure, so. Nothing healthy. Yeah. Uh, what about this $50 million lotto winner? Okay, so Christy, we're looking over you today because, well, you're with us, so obviously you didn't win the $50 million lotto that was uh, announced on Friday. Turns out, no. <laughs> Did you buy a ticket at least? You know what? People have said to me, you can't win if you don't buy a ticket, but for some reason or another, I think it's probably better to keep my keep my money in my pockets where lottery tickets are concerned. Oh, no kidding. So what would you say to somebody who won $50 million? Well, Chelsea would go out there and say, buy more worms. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Invest in my worm business. <laughs> what advice would you give? <laughs> well, I don't know. Don't spend it all at once. I mean, I've heard that sometimes when people win big money, they spend it right away, right? Yeah. So, And then they go back to minute. square one all yeah. over again. Yeah. yeah. So we don't need that. Invest in the economy? I don't know what. You know what? We've always said, though, if we, we ever won that kind of money, mm -hmm. divide it in half. Of course, we'll give you half. Oh, thanks. <laughs> You've got that on yeah. I, We're yeah. going to have to yeah. <laughs> make a Get waiver with that. Yeah. And a quarter of it, I'd invest with Des. Mm -hmm. Yes, right. of course, a warm farm, and I'd probably eat a lot healthier. And, of course, I'd be visiting Simons Valley for the, the great <laughs> food that you have over there. So there, I'd spread the wealth in Alberta. 50 million? What would you do with 50 million? Oh, I'd be gone. I'd be gone. Would you? Oh, for sure. I'd probably get on a plane, take two or three weeks, uh, have a little downtime, figure out what I want to do, uh, get away from, from everything, and then do some planning and come back and rearrange. That is yeah, <laughs> that's a pretty good idea. Yeah. Maybe buy yourself another jacket. I might. <laughs> <laughs> I think the only one, though, is good. <laughs> Uh, so today is Blue Monday, of yes. course. Uh, science is telling us that today is the most depressing day of the year. Are you guys depressed today? I didn't even know until I read about it. So, oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so because of credit card bills that come in after the holidays, it's January, bad weather, although we have pretty nice weather right now. I don't oh. really have anything com to complain mm -hmm. about. But uh, apparently, according to a poll by ATB, it says 46% say the lack of sleep is the main reason, 55% say it's financial. So mm -hmm. that's still kind of in line with our economy right now. I'm not sure we so, want to be reminded, though. Do you want to be reminded that it's supposed to be the depressing day today? <laughs> I didn't even know. <laughs> like, oh. uh, we didn't either, but we're really feeling it. <laughs> now we should all just sit here and well, just yeah, yeah. the rest of the show. Is that what we're supposed to do? Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Why not take the opposite approach? Mm -hmm. You know, just like smiling Jen here and say, yeah, mm -hmm. come on, embrace the day. You know, we didn't even know. And now that yeah. we do, we're, I think we should just bulk up and try to try to be even happier. Well, you know what yeah. I've been doing? Yeah. I've been taking these medicinal mushrooms, which I'm just in love with. Oh, that's they, why you're so happy. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not the magical mushroom that yeah. you might be thinking of. But, oh. <laughs> but they are dubbed the happy mushroom. And so the chaga mushroom is quite a, a joyful food to 
eat. Yeah. Well, if you want to have some happy times, why not check out Simon's Valley Ranch? This is an amazing place. And yes, Christy, I was there over the weekend with my family. Christy is the marketing manager of Simon's Valley Ranch, joining us on a Skype video call. Okay, let's get right down to it. How is it different than any other time that I would join or visit the the uh, the food? Uh, you know what I'm saying? The market. Market. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, Phoenix. We've got some spectacular sculptures out here and um, uh, on the weekend on um, this coming Sunday from 11 till 2 and the following Saturday from 11 till 2 we'll have sculptors out actually taking these blocks of ice and turning them into pieces of art and it's really quite spectacular and of course if it's blue Monday well you know you gotta <laughs> kind of seize the season and uh, you know face the fact it is winter despite the fact that it's been too warm for our uh, ice sculptor to create the slide for us but hopefully Hopefully that'll be coming soon and kids will have a chance to get up on our play structure and slide right on to our skating rink. You can bring your skates. So, you know, seize the day, have some fun, seize the season and forget that it's Blue Monday or Blue Tuesday or any blue. What, why did you decide to do it? Well, a couple of reasons. Uh, number one, because as I've already mentioned, uh, the uh, winter is not a time when people think of coming to a market like ours. And so it's great to remind people, hey, we're out there and there's a lot of really fabulous things that continue to be available through a market like ours. And the second reason is that um, we haven't had a an ice sculpting festival in Calgary I mean, certainly as long as I know, there's the big ice magic out at um, um, out at um, Lake Louise. Right. But you know, we don't have that sort of event happening here in Calgary. And there's a lot of talent. There's a lot of cold. There are a lot of people looking around for things to do. So why not bring it here? And so um, I've been chatting with Lee Ross, who uh, runs Frozen in Memories, and um, we're really delighted um, to bring this festival to Calgary. And we're starting out small. This year, we've only got a couple of sculptors, and um, but we're hoping that over the over the years that we'll be able to grow it so that it really does draw potentially sculptors from all over the world, much as the one out at Lake Louise does. And it's really spectacular to see what people can do and to celebrate that. And why not out at Simons Valley Ranch where we have space and beautiful surroundings of the valley and of course the uh, the lovely market to go and warm up in and get some Phil and Sebastian's coffee or, you know, there's Sunworks uh, chicken and mm -hmm. great food. And you guys will also have some live music to go along with it as well. What sort of music are you guys uh, planning? Well, we have had a couple of bands come and help us launch this festival, and that was great fun on Friday night. And going forward, we have um, music in the market regularly, so it really ranges. We get uh, kind people that share their time and talent with us. They bring uh, acoustic music, um, you know, anything from banjo to yodeling to um, yodeling. young kids playing guitar. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we have a, a woman that comes out and she's quite special. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds unique, very, very unique. Keeping, keeping with the rustic nature of uh, our log buildings and the market as a whole. You should also know, Christy, that we have a chef on panel this morning as mm -hmm. well, too, who's never been, I can't believe you've never been to Simon's Valley, no, no, the I farmer's market. Say, no, to the farmer's oh, market. Oh, the farmer's market. Yeah. I haven't yet visited, but I did go to a wedding there years ago. Incredible venue, lovely everything. Food was great. Uh, thankfully, it was a perfect day. Uh, so the wedding was outside and we ate inside and yeah it was it was stunning great venue so i can't wait to go to the market but honestly i did not know and sunworks is one of my most favorite uh places to to get my produce i mean my protein yeah yeah and uh market is my kind of thing it's it's my saturday and sunday and i absolutely adore getting out there and and seeing what's going on and all the colors and Flavors. And you've some, done some amazing things with this farmer's market as well, too. I mean, it's, you've, you've, you've made it pretty, if you will. But when my wife walked through there, she could not, well, I couldn't drag her out. I, I really could. Did you end up spending more money than <laughs> well, you should have? <laughs> no, Christy will tell you that's never the case. You can always spend more and more money. But that's a huge draw, as well as this ice festival. And we also have Chelsea on set here, too, Christy, you should know, who has three kids of her own. They're under the age of how old? Yeah, ten, well, they're seven, eight, and ten, so they're quite young. And so, yeah, I mean, the ice sculptures might be something that they'd be interested in seeing. Um, can, can, the yeah. kids, can the kids actually char <laughs> carve something? Can they play with one of these? Yes, Rick actually, when, when our sculptors are around, they... Um, Why is everyone they, laughing? That'd be fun. That'd be yeah. so much fun. No, it's, it's, 
it's pretty neat. They bring blocks of ice and um, they let kids and, okay, adults too, uh, give them a chance to try out some sculpting. They have... Um, Seriously, like chainsaws? And equipment, yeah, so you can, oh. you can see perhaps there's a, wow. a, an ice sculptor there that's aching to get out. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's great. And we do have a skating rink. And as I say, we've got our outside play structure. And hopefully this week, the weather will uh, cooperate and Lee can build us the slide that will take the kids from the top of the play structure down onto the skating rink. So there's, there's good fun to be had. And then, as I say, some good food to be consumed later on. How is the festival different from the gala? Has that already happened, the gala? That's right. The gala happened uh, Friday night at okay. Simon's Roadhouse, which is the uh, beautiful restaurant that we have on the lowest level of the market. And so we launched that on Friday with a big ice bar and bonfires outside and s'mores man. and all sorts oh, of things. Man. And uh, moving forward, we um, have the ice sculpting event that takes place over the next two weekends. So it started last weekend, and then we have it next weekend, and it finishes up on the 8th of February. Another one of our panelists is Des. He has no kids. He wants to do uh -huh. more adult-oriented stuff. How about more adult-oriented stuff? Right, Des? Right. Like yeah. sculpting in uh, maybe a New England Patriots logo into oh, the ice. Oh, no, you don't. Or something. No. It's no, too warm. It's, <laughs> it's way too warm for that. <laughs> hey, it's been a lot of fun chatting with you. Um, thank you very much. Good luck with this event. It is so exciting. It's happening when again? It's happening this weekend. We have our sculptor in from 11 till 2 on Sunday and the following Saturday from 11 till 2. But you can come. The market's open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 10 till 5. So you're more than welcome to come have a look at the sculptures. Hop up on our Brookfield um, ice throne, get a picture, get your skates out. And quickly, Should be good. what is the best way to get there? Where are we talking about? Uh, Simon's Valley Ranch located on Simons Valley Road and 144th. And so depending on where you're coming, you can come off Stony, you can come off um, uh, Deerfoot to Beddington, um, or you can come off Shaganapi. So the, the roads in the Northwest are huge and many of them lead here. So you just have to pick the right one and we look forward to seeing you. Chrissy, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Have your wonderful uh, market. Have a wonderful time. And we'll, uh, we'll chat with you soon. Christy Simmons, marketing manager for Simons Valley Ranch. This is fun.